What's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5.3 UEVR demonstration where we're going to be trying to break my RTX laptop. That being said, we already have Prey Dogs mod opened up, and I just injected it. So let's go to main, common object, acknowledge pawn. If you don't know how to do this entire thing, go to the link in the description below. Additionally, if you're a YouTube member, you can download this, go to the community page. I'll put the link so you can play around with it yourself. In the input, I have left thumb rest, right joystick, and I have aiming method set to the right controller so I can actually aim using my Quest 3 controller. So here we are. If I press the left trigger, that should bring up our weapon. And we are here in a jungle forest that I got in the marketplace for cheap. It's pretty old. It's not even the newest, latest and greatest, but it still looks great in a VR scenario. Additionally, we are using DLSS 3, 66%. If you press H, that's 33, J is 66, and K is 100% DLAA. I am on a laptop, so I'm trying to take it easy, all right? So here we go. If I press left trigger weapon, I can aim using my controller, which is sick. And we're gonna walk around in here, I added some enemies, try to make it as easy as possible because when you die, the game is gonna exit and then you're gonna have to inject once again. But even with a cheapo 399 Quest 3 lap and a laptop, this looks incredible. You have to admit, if you are playing this right now and trying it yourself, you've got to let me know because I bet you it looks better on your screen than mine. This just looks amazing. For us to be able to do this kind of graphics demos, you know, a year or two years ago when UE5 first came out, we were doing that, the realistic graphics demos in like 2D flat, but now we are here in VR 360. Uh, additionally, I guess I would need to add that this is only a high scalability settings. This is not even epic or cinematic. Pretty insane. All right, so before we get started, disclaimer, this uh, video has violence, so if you're a kid, don't watch it. Butt shot. I mean, just look at this thing. And what's cool about this is if you have the space in your apartment or in your castle, your mansion, you can technically move around and not even using controllers to move. You can step and move around in this space if you have it. That's the cool thing about it, and that's why I'm kind of excited about like the holo, Disney's holo, tiles or whatever because eventually we're going to be able to walk around in this space without controllers it's just super freaking cool and to me this is a playable fps I'm not gonna lie this i can play this as long as i don't obviously move really fast and i've been playing this for about two hours on and off and I haven't been dizzy by it because, again, I turn off motion blur, so it's it's not too dizzying because I'm just kind of sitting down, aiming and whatnot. And speaking of, the video you're seeing actually is cropped, so worth mentioning once again. No, there's a lot of disclaimers, but I just need to let you know because it's much wider on your headset. I just had to crop it because I'm stabilizing it also. All right, doing pretty good so far. Again, beautiful, beautiful... It, this just looks amazing. We do have auto exposure turned on to kind of mimic that real life camera type to it. But man, this is so cool being able to do this, but I'll go ahead and shut up and let the spray and then praying begin. I'm gonna hide here. That dude like strafes a lot. some ammo. It's so convenient that they're just kind of all turned away from me. Like, how cool is that, right? I mean, I can definitely play a game like this. 
I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm actually considering making an actual small game with story and stuff in it. Maybe like a uh, stealth uh, action thriller espionage type of deal. Oh man, this is cool. I'm so like glad that I grew up <laughs> where, you know, like from like Duck Hunt when I used to play as a little kid to like this now. I saw it kind of, I saw it grew up right in front of my eyes and just evolved and been a part of it, which is kind of cool. I mean, even if you tell somebody this, like if you were to show this five years ago, it would have still, people would have been, uh, had their mind blown if it's in VR also. Man, he rushed me. All right, I got 20 health left. I'm gonna try not to die. But yeah, this entire level was using Nanite, which is kind of cool. But it's still very much so like gamey. It's not really as high poly as you know I would like. Let me look at that. But at the same time, some of the marketplace stuff right now are just so expensive, man. Like $400, which, I mean, I understand that's probably worth it, but I just don't have that much cash right now. <laughs> so for now, we're going to be using some old ones. It's still fun, and it still looks good. All right, I got 50 HP. Let me see if I can throw a grenade at this guy. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Sorry, I didn't expect him to, like, rush me right away. Dude, I'm gonna die. I have three health and then 18 bullets. Jeez. Okay, so I see some over there. Let's go ahead and get up. All right, 33s, better than three. All right, maybe I can throw a grenade at this guy. Crouch. Oh yeah. That was really short. Oh crap, I'm out. I am gonna have to throw a grenade at him. Yeah! Shoot. Oh man, I died. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, if you're a YouTube member of this channel, go ahead and download that, right? Peace out.